Hey guys, I'm very sorry for not posting a video in a long time, but I must admit the past few weeks um, have been rather hectic for me because I'm a student, I am not spared by exams and homework. But anyways, here is a brand new video. It's pretty simple to follow and replicate. And hopefully this marks the start of fresh new videos that I'll be posting in the upcoming few weeks. Thank you so much for your patience and for waiting. And without further ado, let's begin. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a long flat shadow uh, here in GIMP. It's a pretty popular design element in uh, modern designing. Uh, so I'll teach you how to replicate that in GIMP. You can see most of the tutorials uh, on the internet are based on uh, Illustrator, Photoshop and all that. But I'm going to teach you how to make um, a pretty good um, replication of the effect on GIMP. Um, so you can get started by going to File, New, and you can create a new document of whatever size you wish, and go to your Bucket Fill tool, click on your foreground color swatch, and select whatever color you wish. So make sure it's a solid color, like so. Uh, now you want to uh, create your text um, or you can drop in your flat icon file if you are if you are making the long shadow for the icon um, but for this tutorial I'll be um, creating text so I'll go ahead and do that right now once you are done with uh, creating the text you want to ensure that all these individual text layers are on a single layer so you can do that by unchecking the background layer and right clicking any of the text layers and going to merge visible layers and once that is done you can always center your text as a good practice and now you we are going to create the long shadow by duplicating your text layer and clicking on the bottom uh, layer and going to layer, layer to image size, filters, blur, motion blur. Your blur type set to linear with a length of 100 and angle to 225. Once that's done, you can go to your select by color tool here and you can you you can click on the area that's surrounding this white smudge here and go to select invert and you're going to delete this layer and create a brand new layer between the background layer and the text layer you can name it long shadow and go to your paint bucket tool and set black as the foreground color swatch and click once in the selection to fill it in with black and select none now as you can see our long shadow here ends in this irregular edges here and we do not want that so you can fix that by going to the paths tool and can create a path that surrounds the uncolored uh, area here and since we do not want this uh, this line of green here we can surround surround it like so and we can go ahead and close up the paths here and hit enter to convert it into a selection go to your bucket view tool and ensure that view whole selection is selected and click once and everything is black now and go to select none now change your blending mode to green merge and tone down the opacity a little like so now we are going to 
right click and select add layer mask here and go to your paint brush tool and make sure that you have a fuzzy brush with a relatively large size and you can start um, clicking on the areas here and you can see the fading off is rather harsh so we make it more subtle by going into filters blur Gaussian blur and your blur radius set it to 200 and now you can right click it and select apply layer mask now go to your text layer and go to filters light and shadow drop shadow follow the settings as shown here opacity set it to 100 and hit OK select your drop shadow layer and set its blending mode to overlay now for the finishing touches uh, go to your new layer and go to your blend tool and you are going to uh, hit the command key and stroke from the bottom right corner of the canvas to the top left corner like so and set your blending mode to overlay and there you have it your long shadow effect in GIMP